Welcome to the BioCompare Video Bench Tip. Our Video Bench Tips are a chance for us to talk about new developments and the tools and technologies available to life science researchers. Today, we're going to be focusing on Microscale Thermophoresis, or MST for short. So what is MST? Well, let's say you're interested in analyzing biomolecular interactions. How would you go about doing it? Traditionally, you do binding experiments, such as pull-down experiments, or EMSAs, or you use a biophysical method, such as ITC or SPR. However, all of these methods have their limitations. MST is a technique that allows you to obtain binding constants for virtually any type of biomolecular interaction in a close-to-native environment. This means you can measure interactions for everything from protein-protein complexes to small molecule binding. MST can overcome some shortcomings of traditional methods because it measures biomolecular interactions using just a few microliters of sample and has almost no limitation in molecule size, affinity, or buffer. MST measurements can even be performed in complex bioliquids such as cell lysates. So how does it work? The technology is based on the fact that molecules move within temperature gradients. This is called thermophoresis. This movement depends on a number of factors, including the hydration shell, charge, and size of the molecules. Molecules or particles are initially distributed evenly and diffuse freely in solution. When the IR laser is switched on, unbound molecules typically move out of the heated spot. Binding of one molecule to another thus results in altered movement across the temperature gradient. MST uses fluorescence to follow the movement of the molecules. This fluorescence can either be intrinsic to the molecule by measuring the fluorescence of tryptophan residues, for instance, or it can be an attached dye or fluorescent protein, such as GFP. This makes MST very sensitive and accurate, and even label-free in cases of intrinsic fluorescence. So how do you set up an MST experiment? Well, first you prepare a dilution series of your ligand, and you add a constant amount of the fluorescent molecule. The sample is filled into capillaries and loaded into the instrument, and the instrument uses an IR laser to generate a temperature gradient, and the thermophoresis of fluorescent molecules in this gradient is monitored. Then software plots the thermophoresis signal against the concentration of your ligand, generating a binding curve. In as little as 10 minutes, you can obtain a dissociation constant for your interactions. A major advantage of MST is that you can measure binding affinities without any immobilization and you can investigate binding between virtually any type of molecule using a method that doesn't rely on size changes. Assay optimization is rapid and straightforward with low sample consumption compared to other biophysical methods. This makes MST a versatile, fast, and accurate way to study and quantify biomolecular interactions.